A trap and we will go, a trap and we will go. Hey yo, I'm Trapper Joe, a trap and we will go. Okay, good morning guys. Uh, sun's coming up through the trees. A little bit of ice on the pond. Funnel trap there, empty. Foothold there, where they come up onto that log, empty. Uh, come over here. And on my log there, where I had a toilet log set, well that one connected. So that's good. Um, first catch of the day. Means I didn't get skunked again, or skunked, which is good. I haven't been skunked yet this year. Just a little rat, not a huge one. Front leg catch. So we'll uh, get him out. Get it reset and carry on. There's still fresh poop up here. So something else came in after him. That's good. can't remember what number rat this is. I think it's 38 or 39. That's what happens when there's ice on the logs. grass just to cover the pan or the trap. Cool. There we go. Rat number one. So we shall uh, turn you off, carry on. Alrighty, have a good one. Okay, good morning guys. Um, I just want to show you. Down in here I got uh, a 280. Alright. There, for otter, it goes up along that little trail there. Um, I should probably have another one right here someplace. And then again on the other side of this little half dam in here someplace. But uh, I don't have enough traps for that. So I put one over there because I thought that's where they would travel. Because this goes up and then back around. There's actually, I'm hearing water falling back there and I'd like to go have a look. Huh, maybe I will. So, um, anyways, there's the one otter set there and I'll show you the other two in a minute. And I'll talk about uh, my otter trapping and stuff when I uh, come back. Okay, there's actually an old house here, and I bet you that's the entrance right there. So I could probably put a 330 right down in there, but anyways, we'll go check out what's up here first, and then we'll uh, carry on, and I'll continue on with my otter talk. Okay, there's the other backside entrance of the pond, or that hut. Um, like I said, I don't have enough traps, but there would be two more. Engine sets for otter right there. One going that way and one going that way. And then there's another one on the other side. It's actually the channel I'm set in for the otters. But I'll just carry on. Oh. Okay, I'll turn you off and then carry on. Okay, so depending on what's over there, this log has shit on it, so I'll at least bring a foothold, if not a uh, funnel trap in here for here. Oh, something. But let's go see what's causing this water to ripple and foam up. Huh. Ain't that fun. Uh, 
Uh, that's thick as shit. We'll stop here for now because I got other things to do. Um, so that looks like Crate the Creek going up and in. And the reason there's no beavers here anymore is because there's nothing for them to eat except for tag alder. Or just alder, I guess. I call it tag alder, but it's alder. So yeah, um, probably a few places to set for water up in here too. But anyways, okay, well that's cool. I won't uh, put a cage or a football. Well, I could probably put a cage in here someplace that would really help out for rats. Um, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. So I'm going to turn you off so I can jump this creek without uh, making an ass of myself. Because I'm sure I will. And uh, we'll carry on. Okay, so uh, this set here, when I was doing nuisance beaver trapping for this little creek that they were building a, a dam in front of the culvert. And trying to flood out the road with, well, I ended up with... Uh, otter in it so I stuck a 280 down there, down there this year and uh, that's otter set number two the other one was up there by that old hut um, one of the things I find uh, with otters patience patience sorry patience um, I see a lot of guys on Facebook especially they say, somebody will ask the question, how long do you leave an otter set out for? And uh, the answers, first answer that always comes back, no more than three days. If I don't have an otter in three days, the place is unproductive and I'm moving out. Uh, I disagree with that. I'll give you a better show instead of my ugly mug in the sun. I disagree with that. I'll say, otter sets, I put them out, like now, uh, now is a good time to start for otter, it's the second week of November, so they're starting to get real nice, and uh, I leave them out until freeze out, freeze up, why, because otters travel lots, um, again I'm not going to say I'm the best trapper, but I have learned that, I've put traps out for otter, and they produce a week after they're set or a day a couple days after they're set and I put otter traps out and it take a month before the otter comes around but eventually they do come around and you will get them so it's just these guys that say three days and then they pull out well if the otter went through there two days before you set or the day you set, it's going to be three weeks, two to three weeks before he comes back around. Because they travel, they don't just sit in one spot. Uh, even if food is good, they'll still move. Might stick around for a day or two, but on a whole, I find they travel. So, like I said, when it comes to otters, have patience. If you think you got yourself a good otter spot, well set it and leave it there as long as you possibly can. I'm just grabbing my trap safety. The Savage O280s are, I only have three of them, but uh, they're about the only trap that I'll actually put a safety on because the triggers are hard to get, are pretty sensitive. And that's actually what I think happened to this one here is just water pressure or a branch came down and that was it, set it off. So anyways, so yeah, this will be otter set number three. It's set off, like I said, uh, empty. But yeah, that's my theory and I'm sticking to it. Put your otter sets out, leave them out. And if you don't get anything right away, well, don't get discouraged. It could be a week or two. Well, and this set here is a good example. Last year I had it set for almost two weeks before I made my first catch. And then I caught a beaver the next night after catching an otter. So, and this year I had, a, had it set. 
I caught a rat in it the first night and now I haven't had anything since. So it just goes to show that it might be a little bit before they come around, but they will come around. So I'll get it reset. There's a makeshift dam here. And uh, yeah, we'll carry on. Sorry for the rant, but. Okay, hey guys. Um, I know it's kind of difficult to see, but PVC pipe. Um, I attempted to do what Dave Vandermeer suggested for maintaining water level in a pond with beavers in it. And the only problem is uh, I only had like a six foot piece of pipe. And while the other end of this pipe is someplace down in there, they buried it friggin'. They just kept mounding and mounding and mounding the mud up until they got it. So I'll have to get like a another 20 feet so I can go out deep that way and then out far enough this way that the water they can't block it. Um, a six foot pipe just wasn't long enough. Anyways, uh, dead beaver hut there. New beaver hut is over there. And I don't know how well you can see on top of the hill. That poplar is actually beaver chewed. And then there's uh, one or two more back there where they've been chewing. So I'm gonna have to go over on that side to set. For my beavers, I'll throw a martin box up in there too because it looks like good martin habitat. And I'll check the sets that I got here. So I'll turn you back on if I got anything. And otherwise I'll uh, carry on. Okay, so we shall see. Okay, so new hut right there. Feed bed in front of it. Uh, older hut right there. And then the older hut when I was on the dam is right there. Um, apparently I have mountain climbing beavers let's just zoom out and probably oh this rock cliff right here is about 30 40 feet above the water uh, i have to admit it's a damn cool perspective on this pond and i'm starting to wish i had a shitload of floats i could dump in here and a canoe um speaking of which anybody wants to sell a canoe real cheap let me know <laughs> um, as long as it floats kind of thing yeah so anyways that's this big pond as you can see a lot of different channels in it a lot of areas where I could probably set for rats in each one of those open pockets kind of thing put a rat float in there and walk around and check um, having said that, like I said, I got mountain climbing beavers. They got a trail underneath this log where they've been coming to work on that one. And you can see they got most of it chewed up, the one behind it. And then, oh shit, I slipped on this in the moss. You gotta be careful up on these rocks, they're pretty friggin' slippery. Um, the other one they got cut down there. And same thing, they got it mostly chewed up. You can see all the fresh bark in and around here. So I'll uh, follow their trail down. Um, goes around the tree here. Goes up in there. Comes down here to the water's edge. So I'll see what I can find for branches. And I'll stick my trap right about there, not just outside, just past the rock. So the rock is there, I'll go right about there. And that'll be, there's good blocking on both sides. I um, guess I know there aren't too many, oh, there's, that's funny, this log here, no poop on it for muskrats, but then, come five feet like the other log comes right to the end there and then right here that log there there's muskrat poop right there and a whole bunch up in there right in there there's a whole bunch so it's kind of funny that 
they hit one rock and not the other and then you see that spruce tree with the uh, cattails on it well I'd have to say the muskrats are coming to sit up on it and uh, that's where they're munching so this would be a good spot for a float I'm not uh, gonna bring one in here yet I'll bring one in next time I come and uh, we'll get this beaver set set get another one set on another trail just up around the bend here and then I'll set a Martin box on my way out and uh, next time I come I'll bring a float in with me okay so we shall carry on and see you guys next time Good one. okay so there's that one I just stuck a couple sticks in fork sticks to hold the branch up and the trap is right underneath the branch as you can see sorry about the glare but yep yeah, it's right there and then oh I just cast her right there so yeah we'll uh, go check out the other one get it set and carry on so uh, you can see there's a big poplar log they cut have been chewing on a couple more that they did previous years uh, big ass stump right there I was gonna set it here where they've really been coming out but uh, that's not really a good spot to put a trap there's not a lot of natural blocking and if I walk over this way 20 feet barely 20 feet I can come to here where right there and then another trail that goes up it does have natural blocking so I'll set this one here and uh, we'll see what happens okay so I'll do that uh, that log has no poop on it which is funny some do some don't I guess the rats are kind of sparsed out but this place should be loaded with them so okay we'll uh, get this set and carry on okay so caster uh, dive stick and trap right there on that trail just beside the one that they are using so hopefully they'll come in think oh somebody else has moved in and get snapped you know the game okay martin box i'll uh go find get out of here get to it and we'll set it it's just up over here on the rock and that's i'm gonna put it up on top of the hill here okay turn you off and show you that when i'm done cool charcoal tree <laughs> okay later okay martin box um 120 muskrat bait in the back gusto on the stick wired off to the tree uh, this is actually a dead poplar the main end of it's down there and then it comes up so it's only about I don't know waist height so two and a half feet three feet off the ground maybe try that um, it's in a good little area on top of this hill here there's a valley down in there the pond is down on that side uh, so here's hoping and since I got to come back here to check these beaver sets anyways I figured I'd have a martin box here so here's hoping for something anyways martin or fisher whichever wants to come and uh, we shall see what happens alrighty carry on